Inflammation is the body's natural response to injury, infection, or stress. However, when it becomes chronic, it can lead to a number of health problems, such as heart disease and even cancers. And did you know that chronic inflammation is responsible for more than 80% of all chronic diseases? That's right. In today's episode, let's explore some of the top causes of inflammation in the body so you can have a better approach to reducing it and keeping yourselves healthy and active. Without any further delay, let's begin. Number 1. Excessive Iron Iron is an essential mineral for the human body, but did you know that high iron levels can cause toxicity and inflammation, leading to a high risk of developing chronic diseases? Hemochromatosis is a condition that causes the body to absorb too much iron from the diet, leading to high levels of iron in the skin, joints, liver, pancreas, and heart. It is known to affect approximately over 1 million people in the U.S. This condition can show up in many symptoms, like chronic fatigue, joint pain, irregular heartbeats, and abdominal pain. If left untreated, it can increase the risk of other diseases such as type 2 diabetes, arthritis, liver inflammation, and even sexual dysfunction. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Number 2. High Levels of Vitamin D Maintaining optimal levels of vitamin D is important for overall health. However, recent research has suggested that getting too much vitamin D may be just as harmful as not getting enough. According to studies, having sufficient levels of vitamin D in the body can help reduce levels of C-reactive protein, a marker of inflammation associated with cardiovascular disease. On the other hand, Taking too much vitamin D can lead to toxicity and can cause inflammation in the body. This is mainly because vitamin D is involved in regulating the immune system, and an excess of vitamin D can lead to an overactive immune response, resulting in inflammation. Anyhow, vitamin D toxicity can show up in a number of symptoms, such as nausea, vomiting, weakness, unexplained weight loss, headaches, dizziness, and irregular heartbeats. That being said, if you are concerned about your vitamin D levels, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the appropriate level of supplementation for your individual needs. Number 3. Unhealthy Diet An unhealthy diet filled with sugary foods, highly processed foods, and unhealthy fats can wreak havoc on our bodies and is one of the leading causes of inflammation in the body. First, many unhealthy foods are often high in saturated and trans fats, which can trigger inflammation in the body. These types of fats increase the production of pro-inflammatory chemicals in the body, which can lead to chronic inflammation over time. Second, an unhealthy diet often lacks important nutrients that are essential for our immune system's health. For example, diets high in refined carbohydrates and extra sugar can lead to insulin resistance, which can increase inflammation in the body. Third, unhealthy diets, especially high sugar foods, can disrupt the balance of friendly bacteria in our gut, which can also lead to inflammation. The gut microbiome plays a key role in regulating the immune system, and an imbalance of gut bacteria can lead to an overactive immune response, resulting in chronic inflammation. Finally, many processed foods and drinks contain unhealthy saturated fats and sugars. So if we eat them too often, it can lead to weight gain and obesity, which are major risk factors for chronic inflammation. As the amount of fat tissue in the body increases, the level of inflammation also increases. Number 4. Chronic Stress We all experience stress at some point in our lives, but did you know that it can also trigger inflammation in the body? When we encounter stress, our bodies release stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones can cause unnecessary spikes in blood sugar levels, which can not only increase inflammation in the body, but can also cause insulin resistance. That's why it's very important to practice stress management techniques like meditation, exercise, or even simply taking one-minute breathing exercises to help reduce inflammation and improve your overall health. Number 5. Lack of Exercise Our modern lifestyle has made it quite easy for us to become sedentary, 
with many of us spending several hours each day sitting in front of screens or lounging on couches. However, this sedentary lifestyle can have serious consequences for our health, as it can contribute to inflammation in the body. Actually, physical activity helps keep our immune system healthy and helps reduce the production of pro-inflammatory chemicals in the body. But when we are sedentary, our immune system is not as efficient at regulating inflammation, which can lead to chronic inflammation over time. Not only that, but a sedentary lifestyle also tends to make us gain weight, which is a major risk factor for chronic inflammation. This inflammation can lead to a wide range of health issues, including heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and many types of cancers. Number 6. Environmental Toxins As we go about our daily lives, we're exposed to a variety of environmental toxins, from the exhaust fumes of passing cars to the chemicals used in industrial farming. While we may not always be aware of these toxins, their effects on our bodies can be disastrous. For example, exposure to air pollution, such as smoke, can trigger inflammation in the lungs and throughout the body. Many pesticides commonly used in agriculture and in homes have also been shown to disrupt the immune system and promote inflammation in the body. Exposure to heavy metals, such as lead and mercury, can lead to chronic inflammation in the body. These heavy metals may be present in environmental wastes, contaminated water, toys, paints, and even some cosmetic products. Lastly, phthalates are a group of chemicals commonly used in plastics and have also been linked to inflammation and immune dysfunction. It's important to protect yourself from the harmful effects of these toxins and to take steps to limit your exposure. You can do that by using air purifiers in your home, eating organic foods, and avoiding areas with high levels of pollution. Number 7. Chronic Infections Certain chronic infections can be a silent cause of inflammation in the body, as the immune system constantly works to fight off the invading pathogens. Lyme disease and hepatitis B and C are two common examples of such infections that can lead to long-term inflammation. If left untreated, chronic infections can damage our tissues and organs and contribute to the development of various chronic diseases. Therefore, it is crucial to identify and treat these infections to prevent inflammation in the body and its associated complications. Number 8. Lack of Sleep Poor sleep quality can contribute to a variety of health problems, including chronic inflammation. When we sleep, our bodies work to repair and rejuvenate, and lack of sleep can interrupt this process. Research has shown that poor sleep can lead to an increase in inflammatory markers in the body, which in turn can contribute to a wide range of chronic diseases, including cancers. So make sure you're getting enough quality sleep each night, and that requires an uninterrupted eight hours of sleep. Number nine, alcohol. Excessive alcohol consumption too can lead to inflammation in the body. This inflammation can occur in different parts of the body, including the liver and pancreas, and may cause long-term damage if left uncontrolled. It shouldn't come as a surprise, because we all know what marks it can leave on our bodies. So here comes the suggestion. If you want to keep your body healthy and free from inflammation, it is important to reduce your alcohol intake and ensure that you are not drinking too much. But the story doesn't end here. Smoking is also a major culprit. In fact, smoking is one of the biggest and most common causes of inflammation and can increase the risk of many chronic diseases, including COPD and lung cancer. So if you want to reduce inflammation in the body and reduce the risk of developing many forms of cancers, quit smoking as fast as you can. Number 10. Aging Aging is an inevitable process. But did you know that as we age, our bodies become more susceptible to chronic inflammation and diseases? As we age, our immune system becomes less efficient at regulating inflammation, especially if we aren't getting enough nutrients from our diet. Unhealthy aging also takes a toll on our digestive health and reduces its ability to absorb nutrients efficiently. Eventually, this can lead to chronic inflammation in the body, even in the absence of an infection or injury. Therefore, it's critically important to maintain a healthy lifestyle as we get older, such as regular exercise, a balanced diet, and stress management techniques. Together, 
These things can help keep inflammation in check and promote overall wellness as we age. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.